Hi, I'm Jenna Wright, Vice President of the Anchorage Economic Development Corporation. This video is part of a series that breaks down AEDC's 2023 three-year outlook report. The purpose of the outlook is to identify key economic forces at work in Anchorage and provide a sense of trajectory for the economy. Thank you to Northrum Bank for their generous sponsorship of this video series. In this episode, we'll talk about industries that are key drivers of Anchorage's economy, starting with the Anchorage International Airport. Anchorage International Airport air cargo volumes declined modestly in 2022 after unprecedented increases over 2020 and 2021 that were driven by global supply chain pressures. AEDC expects air cargo volumes to stabilize with modest growth over the next three years as supply chain disruptions caused by the pandemic continue to improve and inflationary impacts on consumer demand persist. National consumer confidence and the stability of Chinese manufacturing and production will both be factors to watch that will impact air cargo demand and volumes transiting the Asia to North America shipping route. Next, we'll turn our attention to the Port of Alaska, which will continue to be an important transportation gateway supporting infrastructure development across the state. AEDC is pleased to predict the port's volumes will continue to moderately increase over the next three years. While the modest population growth predicted in Anchorage will have minimal impacts on overall demand for goods, construction activity and projects across Alaska will drive higher freight demand with new federal infrastructure funding and upcoming oil development on the North Slope. Expected growth in operations at the Anchorage International Airport will impact demand for fuel, which must come through the Port of Alaska and accounts for about two-thirds of the total tonnage that comes through the port. Turning to the oil industry, Alaska North Slope prices are expected to remain well below the 2022 high, with steady declines anticipated through 2026. Political instability in Russia and the war in Ukraine will continue to impact global pricing. Sanctions created a $60 per barrel cap on Russian oil exports, rerouting Russian export volumes from traditional markets. In response to declining global oil prices, OPEC and Russia announced production cuts through the end of 2023. Here in Alaska, large new North Slope developments like Pika, Nuna, and Willow are expected to ramp up to full production after 2026, outside of our three-year forecast period. Now we'll turn to building permit activity. AEDC expects building permit activity will decline in permit value by about 9% as compared to last year, but then will experience growth rates similar to inflation over the next three years. Interest rate increases enacted by the Federal Reserve to combat inflation have put downward pressure on residential construction and remodeling activity while inflation continues to impact prices of material. There are several commercial projects in the pipeline that will help to sustain permit values in the near term, but we have still not recovered to anywhere near 2014 levels of $681 million in permit values. On a more positive note, the visitor industry continues to see strong market growth. This year, we saw annual South Central cruise ship passenger capacity grow by 7%, which was an additional 33,000 passengers. Those cruise ship passengers also influence corresponding increases on air passenger volumes. Air passenger volumes have still not fully recovered from the impacts of the pandemic, but AEDC predicts volumes will continue to rise over the next three years, making their way closer to Anchorage's record of 5.76 million passengers in 2019. In the hotel industry, higher average daily room rates drove increased tax revenues for Anchorage to a record of $40 million in 2022, and we expect those average rates to persist and deliver slightly higher tax revenues in 2023 of $41.5 million. One additional factor to this increase in tax revenues is that online rental platforms like Airbnb have come into municipal compliance. In fact, non-hotel collections like Airbnb, VRBO, and traditional bed and breakfast increased significantly to now represent over 10% of total room tax collections. In the last visitor industry-dominated tax category, Anchorage saw rental vehicle tax collections rise to a new record of $11.2 million due to tight market conditions, higher prices, and increased hosting platform compliance by online platforms like Turo. 